and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to tell you about an amazing partnership that can get people from unemployed to employed in a skilled trade in maybe around three months. My guests are from um, the Goodwill Center, Laura Hansen, and from Thomas Hello. Nelson, Jerry Hemingway. Welcome. Hello. This is like too good to be true, right? <laughs> Seems that way. Um, what's interesting to me about this, not just as the opportunities, but the partnership, the way that the educational institution and the community-based nonprofit came together on kind of a common mission and complement each other. Tell me how that came about. That came about in around 2013 when Goodwill opened its operations center here in Hampton. And when we did that, we started exploring ways to get more engaged in the community. As you know, the purpose of Goodwill is to help people change their lives through the power of work. And so how do we get people to work and not just a short-term sol solution, but long-term? How do we get them in a sustainable job with a living wage that leads to success? Mm -hmm. And at the same time we were setting up our operations center, Thomas Nelson was looking for ways to expand their center for building and construction trades. They have a huge need in this community for that industry and Thomas Nelson saw that need, wanted to serve it. Didn't have the state money to build new buildings <laughs> <laughs> because we all know it's been a little constrained. We knew we wanted to get into the trades. That was what forced development. We wanted to get into the trades. The, the demand was there, the employers needed it and we needed the space because it, it requires a lot of space and Goodwill had it and it was just a everything coming together at the right time. That is wonderful. And you're going to tell us about the WIRED program, but that isn't even your first program, right? Correct. So you began by offering what? I'm not going to tell your story. You guys have to tell us. <laughs> our, first, our first class uh, two or three years ago mm -hmm. was the HVAC class. And we and that, spell out what HVAC means. We we should know, but still. Heating. <laughs> Let's see. Do I know? Uh, heating and uh, air, heating and air conditioning, essentially. Right. And you know, I tried to sell my child on this, and it sounds like kind of a boring job, but it's not. No. There's maintenance. There's new installations, and there's a need. There is. There people are begging folks to come work for them with some skills in this area. We live in Virginia. Air conditioning <laughs> is important. Exactly. So how, what has the success of that program been? That program is, is a bona fide success. Uh, when we first started, I was kicking rocks to find students. Yeah, it, and, it's not, you know, a cool career at, at, at but first. But two years later, uh, the class is full, it's vital, it's one of our most asked about programs, so uh, it's, it's a success. That's fabulous. So then you followed that up with? We went into facilities maintenance. Uh, there's a strong uh, need for people who work apartments and uh, with all the uh, tourists we have here, there's, there's a big demand. Right, right. And then uh, we've expanded. And that's what general handyman? It's got some so, certifications. A little deeper. Absolutely, that's a that's a really a challenging program because yeah. they need to know HVAC, they need to know electricity, they mm -hmm. need to know plumbing, they need to know general maintenance, and they be, need to do it very quickly because of the customer base. Right. Right. People aren't moving out of their apartment. You don't want to lose that mm -hmm. rent. You don't want to have to rehouse them. You do. Yeah, and you have to respond quickly. So, and then now we've expanded to the electrical program, the Wired for Success program. And, and this is pretty new. This yes. is very new. Very this new. was our first graduating class, and it's, the success of this is just unbelievable. So you had six students? Six graduates, yes. And they started in October. October, and then just finished up. And how many of them have jobs already? Five. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason that other one doesn't is he's moving, so he hasn't decided where he's settling. Okay. Yeah, so, so he hasn't really started looking right. yet. Graduation was Monday, and we had the employers there. and uh, So they had jobs before they graduated? No. They've oh, had offers. They were working it really well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really say that about very many yeah. um, programs. 
That's the need the community has. The need for craftsmen is, is severe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're providing trained individuals that can go to work today. And you know, I think, I think there was a huge move in the past to get people to go to college, to get people to have that four-year degree and to make sure everyone had equal access. And clearly that four-year degree can be a ticket to higher wage jobs. But not everybody fits that mold, even if they have the ability. I, I, I think um, I had a contractor who was actually running a gym. He had a four-year degree. He was a manager. He wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. He wanted to work with his hands. He wanted to do woodworking. And, and people have different life goals and aptitudes. And we kind of push some of that under, I think, as a society. That's one of the exciting roles that Goodwill plays is because we are an access point for folks who are looking for employment. So we may not know what your reason is when you come in the door, but before you leave, we're going to have a pretty good idea of what your current skills and aptitudes are, what your obstacles might be, whether it's childcare, transportation, family responsibilities, immediate need for employment. Mm -hmm. and. Folks who visit the Community Employment Center at Goodwill can meet with a career advisor who's going to help them work through those challenges. And if we get the slightest inkling that a trade might be something that suits you, mm -hmm. then we can immediately refer them over to Thomas Nelson and say, this person has an interest in this industry. Let's talk to them a little bit more about it and give them the opportunity. If college isn't for you, Come to the college. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, Thomas the, is broader. Than workforce that. development is is a viable arm of the Thomas Nelson College, mm -hmm. and it, it really offers an alternative. So, Jerry, who is your typical student? And I know it's not fair to generalize, but who, what kind of people are you seeing? What are their needs? What are their ages? Probably our average student is in his late twenties, and I say him is. Because it's so not far, really true. It's not all. <laughs> we've, oh, okay. we've been fortunate enough to have uh, women in every class we've had out there. That's good. Yeah. But uh, they're, they're usually people that are in a job, you know, they're manager at McDonald's, mm -hmm. you know. But at the same time, they've, they're married now. They have kids. They have bills. And they... They don't see a future where they're at. They're looking for something else. And the trades are really viable. People, people want to work with their hands. People want to go home with a sense of satisfaction that they built something, they repaired, they made a difference. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I think it's a great thing. But what is a barrier to a lot of people in terms of going back to school is that having enough income to support their family mm -hmm. and pay the tuition. So how do you get around that? It can be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing it, right? Doing the, it. the commitment, the, it starts with the students. The commitment they make. I've seen them uh, have to change shift. Mm -hmm. I've seen them... Uh, I've seen them quit jobs. I, I, I never advise that. But... Uh, to make the, the schedule, the school schedule, people have done some really radical things. Uh, they, they'll go to school for, uh, for the course, then they'll go to work and try to deal with their family and sleep and be back at school the next morning. It's, but the tuition part, you have a solution for. We you, do our best. <laughs> <laughs> you at We've least been help been very fortunate in the changes in perception in the country over the last few years about the value of workforce skills. And so because of that, there is considerable state and federal funding that's available for workforce credential training. And so the core of any of the training programs that we work with is there is a workforce credential. So you know it's nationally recognized. You're not limited to something that just works in Hampton Roads. Right. But anywhere you go, that credential is recognized. And because of that, if the student qualifies, and I know that Thomas Nelson works really closely with each student to identify what funding sources might take care of them. Mm -hmm. And so there may be scenarios where there's a little out of pocket, but I think it's a rare scenario. The, the true goal is to qualify them for a fast forward grant or the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, the Workforce Credentials Grant. Um, a lot of sources. The Peninsula WorkLink has been a wonderful partner in our programs. They really 
do the best they can to fast track a student's application, to work closely with them so that if someone is going to be eligible and really wants to take the class, they'll expedite that for them because they see the value. They know that they really are giving somebody funding that's going to get them a real job at the end. And, you know, from the taxpayer perspective, I'm going to say this is good because the state is going to get more in income tax Absolutely. out of this person, especially over the long run. This person is more likely to buy a home and become invested in the community. There are, this is an investment, not a, not a giveaway or Absolutely. a handout. It really makes sense from a public perspective. So we've gotten people interested in this program now. <laughs> Um, how did they qualify? It's, it's an intensive program. If I'm going to get out in about three months, I bet I'm putting in um, quite a few hours per week. This is not a three-hour uh, course block, right? No. Depending on the course. <laughs> but uh, it requires a commitment from this student. It, it really does. But we're very fortunate that this is recognized from the top to the bottom. Washington understands that there needs to be money put into this. And it is filtered down, and we're getting people off of uh, welfare, out of social service. Uh, we're giving them a, a really good career. We're, we're changing their lives, and that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, once, they, once these kids graduated Monday, and they're going to be employed by the end of this week, Wow. Their whole, their and whole future has changed. Wage jobs. No. no, these are not. <laughs> they're these not are, the top of the line yet. It's the access point. But they but they're will in, be. And they have the opportunity mm -hmm. then to get additional certification, additional on-the-job mm -hmm. training, and to move up a career ladder or to, be, uh, to start their own business. Absolutely. And, and that is absolutely the goal for some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you want to do this? I want to own an air conditioning business. Mm -hmm. I want to be, uh, you know, it's and it's amazing. Control of their lives and their destiny is very important to a lot of folks in this generation. And you know, working for a corporation maybe not is not their thing. And so, building their own business, if people can do both the technical mm -hmm. part and the the customer acquisition and the outreach, which is sometimes hard for a tradesperson, um, you've got you've got everything there. And partnering with Goodwill, one of the things that is our specialty area is helping you develop that individual career plan. And so we might be an access point, Thomas Nelson might be an access point, but ultimately they're in the program and we work with them beginning the first week of classes. And so we get to have the opportunity to integrate all of our soft skills training, which is the traditional, when you talk to an employer and you say, what do you want from an employee? <laughs> They say, I want somebody who's trainable. Well, we've proven they're trainable because mm -hmm. they've completed the program. But then they say, I want somebody who shows up for work on time. And that feels you like... I think people would know that, but they, they kind of don't. Well, you know, if you haven't had somebody show you that right. in your life, right. if this is your first real job mm -hmm. and there's never been a concern about and losing it. if you're late, why right. you're late, what's going on. And those are some very basic skills that some of us might think mm -hmm. are common sense, but they're not common. Yeah. And so we make sure that we integrate that. So each week we're in the classroom with the students. In addition to the skills training that Thomas Nelson provides, we work on that job readiness training. And that works together so well because, again, you complement each other. We're not mm -hmm. duplicating services. We're not spending the no. money twice. We are in a, we, the yes. area, <laughs> the program, is working together to do what each of you does best yes. to help individuals and to help the community. Because frankly, if I call for an air conditioner repair <laughs> and there aren't enough people <laughs> employed and they have to put me on a wait list and it's 90 degrees, I'm a little cranky. Mm -hmm. We provide the technical skills. They provide the soft skills. Together, we're producing uh, what's going to be a really good employee mm -hmm. because it's, it's the full package. Okay, now I think that we've probably gotten people very excited about this as they've watched this. What do they do if they're interested in the program, they know someone who would be great for the program? What's that first step? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do we do that? Call Thomas Nelson, 865-3122. Uh, okay. 
come out to workforce development at 600 Butler Farm Road. Let's sit down, let's talk about what you want and how we can process this further. What are your circumstances? What's gonna be the best uh, track to financing the course? What is your commitment to this? Uh, get them in, mm -hmm. okay. talk to them. Find out and you'll say that you're also an access point. We're at access <laughs> point. You, if you're not really sure yet, and you don't know that this is definitely the path for you, but mm -hmm. you'd like to explore it a little bit more, or explore just general job opportunities and, and career plan development, come and see us because we're in partnership with them. So the Goodwill of Central and Coastal Virginia, located right there at 1911 Seville Row here in Hampton. Um, always someone there to serve you. So. You want to send your cousin who's not <laughs> interested in the trades but wants some other assistance mm -hmm. or you're not really sure how to navigate Thomas Nelson yet and you want someone to hold your hand a little bit, we can do that. We can walk you right into Jerry's office and say, here he is, talk to him. So it's a, it's a fun that we can both be an access point. We're, we're, we're hand holders. We're faith yes. bringers. <laughs> uh, we... We will, we will work with you, we'll get you in, we'll make a difference in your life. That's the important part. Right. We, once you're through our program, your life has changed. Okay. And we also don't let go of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's important because this is a huge change mm -hmm. for people. And it's going to be stressful during that training period because you're juggling a whole lot of things. So keeping people involved and up and, and um, able to do what they're trying to do is, um, is a huge, huge factor. And we'll still follow up with you after you're employed to make sure things are going smoothly, to identify any challenges you might have and see where we can be of assistance. So it's a, it's a long-term commitment once you're involved in the program. Okay, well, thank you both so much. And they have said it so well that I don't need to recap, but <laughs> do know that there are very fast track options to getting people into good, well-paying careers with futures. And you can stay right here and learn in Hampton. You can stay employed in Hampton because we need you or anywhere in the region or country. Thanks for watching.